hands down, runaway, MVP and comeback player That's of the ridiculous. Year. <laughs> Peyton Manning is coming off his fourth neck surgery. Peyton Manning had several doctors tell him he was finished. You can't come back. Too big a threat. You're threatening your life, your ability to walk. If you walk back out onto a football field, that. I do. The, the I don't doctors, recall that. They told him he was finished. I don't recall that. You the gotta trauma stop. here is overwhelming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, and, and what happened? I'm done counting his drama. Oh, you know, and what did Peyton Manning do? He came back with his greatest season ever. I mean... Ever, yeah, I'm quoting him. I'm quoting him. And it was. It was. This. This. We can make a case. This is his greatest season ever. Thirty-four touchdowns to eleven interceptions. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, the Denver Broncos are positioned to have home field throughout the playoffs. Meaning Tom Brady just might have to go all the way to mile high to get to the Super Bowl. Are you kidding me? Did anybody think this before the year? Look what this man has wrought in Denver. Now Tebow built the foundation. You got. Oh. <laughs> Now, let's go back. We, we glossed over what happened yesterday in Houston. We just glossed over it. Now, now, the Vikings won, proving the Vikings have a really good football team. But Adrian Peterson had a long run of 21 yards. Other than that 21-yarder, he had 65 on 24 carries for an average of 2.7 yards per carry. I know I'm picking nits here again. He's had a sensational year, we all agree. But if we're talking about <laughs> Do I get to respond? This, Do I get to respond? Do I get to respond? Because I think he lost the MVP yesterday. First of all, 